Hello Virgo viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. So it's basically just whatever the cards want to say, whatever comes through here. Let's see what the story is. As always, I am doing private readings. So if you'd like a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. And that email is right below in the description box. And if this resonates, please comment, like the video. Even just leaving a heart react comment below really helps me because it gets me back in the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so we've got Ten of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Death and Transformation. I always see death. I don't see death in like in this card. I don't see it negatively. I see it as a transformation coming out of Hermit energy. The Seven of Swords, what is this about? Queen of Swords, the Emperor, the Moon, the Chariot, I feel like these are, I feel like this is two people who love each other very much, but they're not sure how to I'm like into what happened with the Ten of Swords here, but they're not sure how to repair something is basically what I'm getting. So with the Ten of Swords, it's like there's some kind of ending here. Some kind of rock bottom, um, basically between the two of you with the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is about building something together. It's like teamwork and then Eight of Pentacles is basically you know studying knowledge and I, I take this as somebody studying you somebody trying to do right by you so this feels like a couple or maybe like you know friends that are considering being a couple or whatever the situation might be for you but it's basically you guys might have two different love languages or different ways of communicating it's like you guys are trying to fix these issues because you're just feels like you're not quite on the same page like there's something you guys keep clashing somehow because it's like this person wants to study you so they want to figure out how to fix this they want to build something here with you and with this transformation here death and transformation like they want to come out of this hermit energy but it feels like I feel like with the Queen of Swords and the Emperor, you see how he's looking at her? So it's almost like you're in this Seven of Swords energy where you might be, I don't, I don't want to say dishonest, but like escaping, running away. Um, maybe you started playing games with this person because you got tired of this energy. You're, you're the Queen of Swords and this person is recognizing this. And take it as it resonates because like I said, this could also be, could be the other way around. It could be you know, you might have done something to hurt this person and now they're defensive and you're kind of recognizing why they're defensive. But somebody is recognizing why somebody is playing games and why somebody is defensive. And with the moon, oops, sorry, with the moon here and the chariot, they're they're trying to use their intuition to move this forward. Tell me about the, uh, the Ten of Swords. What was this? Eight of Wands, the Wheel... The Nine of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. The Tower. I feel like you told somebody you'd rather be single or somebody told you they'd rather be single or that they don't want to be tied down, they don't want to be committed. I feel like somebody's feelings changed and I feel like it changed. I feel like it might be a situation where in the moment someone might have been feeling really overwhelmed and they might have said, hey, I don't want to be anything more than friends or I just, I want to be single. I don't want to do this. And then I feel like they kind of regret it now and they kind of wish that they could work through those issues. But I think, I think you guys were either arguing or you just weren't seeing eye to eye. Like there was something. It's like both of you were putting in a lot of effort is what I feel. Like there was a lot of communication issues. You guys, there was a lot of uh, tension between the two of you. There was just just stagnant kind of energy. But it's like you both were trying. It wasn't like 
like you both wanted this, you know what I mean? Like even if you weren't communicating properly, even if you guys were arguing or even if you guys were playing games with each other, whatever it was, it's like you still both wanted this. You still both were trying to understand each other and trying to to fix this basically and to, to make this work. And I feel like whether it was you or them, I feel like somebody got frustrated with that whole process and they might have said something that they don't mean. So they might have like, you know, they might have said because Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's like single, who's who's just living their best life. They're just kind of doing their own thing. So I feel like an Eight of Wands is like fast energy and the wheel is like a cycle ending. So I feel like somebody was really hasty and in the moment they might have ended things or asked to pause the connection or asked to like in, in the moment they were basically feeling frustrated. They might have been maybe you guys got in an argument and they were frustrated by something that you said or just the whole situation. They're like, I don't know how we can make this work. I don't know how we're going to do this. And in that moment, they weren't really thinking rationally. They were just kind of impulsive. And so I feel like they took a step back and they said, you know, I just want to be single or whatnot. Just because they were having so much anxiety, they were so overwhelmed in that moment that they couldn't think clearly. And so I think they kind of gave up on fixing this connection in that moment and might have said things that they don't mean. And that, that brought this tower moment in. But I feel like now they're wanting to fix it. And now they're kind of seeing like why you're defensive. Like they're looking at this and they're realizing why you might be defensive. So what's next? So that's okay. So that's where we're at now where there was this tower moment. There was this um, either a pause or some kind of ending or someone saying something they didn't mean, but they're realizing that they shouldn't have been so hasty. They actually do want to fix this. They do want to, this is almost like couples counseling or like, like, like they know it's a lot of work. Like they, like there's, there's a lot of uh, trust that's been broken on both sides there's a lot of communication issues, maybe different love languages, you know, multiple things here. And, and this person does want to fix it. They do want to put the energy in. But I feel like now you're kind of defensive because you're like, well, you know, you, t you said you didn't want to do this. Why am I going to put all this effort in if I think you're just going to, you know, leave when things get tough? I don't want to go through that. Um, so where are we next? So what, what's, what's happening next with this person? Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, the Hierophant, the Fool. I think this person does see marriage with you. They do see long-term commitment. But it's almost like, I don't want to say there's, I don't want to say you guys are settling for each other, but it's almost like, it's almost like both of you have just put so much time and energy into this connection that you got to ask yourself, are you still doing it because of, you know, genuine love or is it just, you know, familiarity? Have you guys just known each other for a long time? Because I feel like somebody is trying so hard to understand you and they feel like they just can't understand you. They feel like they don't know what you want. They feel like they don't know where you're coming from. They don't. They just feel like they're in the dark because it's like this person really wants this balance. They do want this to be an equal give and take. They do want justice. They do, they do want fairness in this connection. But with Ten of Wands, it's like the straw that broke the camel's back. It's like somebody letting go of the heavy burden. It's like they want that, but they don't know how to make that happen. Even though they want this new start with the Hierophant and the Fool, they, they just don't know. They're, they're kind of just in limbo right now. They don't know what to do next. Three of Swords, Temperance. They're trying to balance their emotions because they do feel heartbroken over this. Judgment, Hanged Man. They're trying to open their minds too. Because I feel like this person has kind of been... I don't want to say throwing themselves a pity party. What's the right word for it? I don't think that's the right term for it. I feel like it's more like they, they've been heartbroken. But they're trying to open themselves up to other perspectives as well. They're trying to take responsibility for their role in all of this to a degree. 
this person is basically just trying to be reasonable. They're like, okay, they might have said things they didn't mean, but I've done the same thing. They're they're pretty much just realizing that if they stay in this three of swords energy, like nothing's going to get done. So they're trying to find that balance and make a judgment call. They feel very stagnant. It's like somebody who's in like this stagnant, repetitive energy, but they're craving adventure. They're craving passion. They're craving new energy, but they still feel stagnant. They still feel kind of stuck. You know, we have... We have the, the judgment card, the hanged man, and the star. So, and we have the temperance. So this is like, this is, you've got a lot of, um, this major arcana is like major life transformations. You know, the minor arcana, that's like day-to-day -day energy, you know, the little things here and there. But the major arcana, when you get that many major arcana cards, that talks about like major transformation. You have a lot of them. you got the tower, you got the emperor, the moon, the chariot, the temperance, judgment, hanged man, the star. So this is like a really big um, turning point for this person, a really big lesson for this person. I think the lesson is kind of about, well, I think part of it is just taking accountability. And kind of just going after what they want as well. But, but yeah, it's like they're making that judgment call and they're really wanting to get out of that stuck energy. They're wanting this new perspective. They're wanting to plant the seeds. They're wanting to get things moving again. They're wanting to figure out how to fix this. But it's like this person just feels like they're still stagnant. This is somebody who's like just going through the motions. Like maybe they're working like a 40 hour a week job or like 40, 50, 60 hours a week or whatever. And they don't like their job or they're just stagnant. Like they're just kind of bored with life. Like they're just kind of feeling empty and unhappy right now is what I'm getting. And like they, they know that they want more than this, but they're not sure how to get it. They're not sure how to get out of that stuck energy and end this cycle. Yeah, they feel left behind. Yeah, five of pentacles, five of cups. They feel left behind, but they're not wanting to let this go. They want to fight for this, you know, patience, perseverance, putting in the work. They want to make this public. They want to keep fighting for this. They don't, they want their ships to come in. They're not willing to just back down. Um, king of pentacles like even though they have no real direction like they have no idea how to fix this they know that they want to fix this they know that they need to fix this they just don't know what that looks like I think some of them I just get a lot of confusion from them like some of them really don't know if you want to hear from them they don't know if you hate them if you love them if you want to hear from them if they if you want them to go away um, there, cause I feel like maybe you guys have had arguments where you've said contradictory things, but so have they, cause I got like a lot of like just tension between you two. So maybe they're kind of like going around in circles in their head. They're like, well, this person said, you know, told me to F off and that they, they're done with me. But then they also said like before that they, the week before that they said they love me and they want to fix this, like, like very contradictory energy. So they're like, which thing is true? Like, were, was that their true feelings coming out or were they just upset when they said those things? Like they don't know what to go off of. They just feel very lost. They're trying to balance. They're trying to develop their intuition and move this forward. Because they just feel like their dreams are like not manifesting basically. They they just feel, yeah, they just feel very stuck. Um what does this person need to get unstuck? What do they... I'm hearing they need to learn the lesson. Yeah, Eight of Swords. They need to get out of that victim mentality and see that, you know, there is potential right in front of them. But it's it's kind of... It's, it's are they going to... Are they going to learn this lesson or are they going to stay on that merry-go-round and repeat the same karmic cycle? Page of Pentacles, like, I always see this card as manifesting what they want. The Empress or the Emperor. Five of Wands... Four of Swords, Two of Cups. It's like you both are healing from this. You're both kind of sad over this. You're both healing from it. But there is love here. But it's up in the air. I mean, honestly, it's going to be... I'd like to just be like, oh, yeah, this person's going to come back and fix this. But honestly, it's going to be different for each one of you. Um, just, you know, stay tuned to my readings and we'll, we'll keep getting energy updates on this. I'm sure like it'll probably come up when I do the next set of Zodiac videos. I'll be doing random videos here and there as well, but it's going to be different for everybody. You know, this is where the energy is at now. 
like a lot of psychics will try to tell you like, oh, they, your person's going to come back on this day. You know, they're going to come back on April 29th at this time. But it's, it's like, nobody can know that because it's, it's energy. I'm picking up on your person's current energy, their current feelings, you know, and, and that it's, it's likely to stay on that track, but I mean, it, things could also change it. And, and also your interactions come into play too. If you message this person right now, then that energy changes energy. You know what I mean? Like the energy shifts. So it, it's, it's really hard to pinpoint an exact day. It doesn't really work like that. I mean, I could, from this, you know, from this current energy, I could guess a timeline. I could be like, oh, I feel like within three weeks, this person's coming back. Yeah. But, but again, it's, it's energy is, it's always fluctuating, but, um, but anyway, yeah, like it's going to be different for each of you. It's kind of dependent on th this person's spirit guides are really working with them to learn the lessons like they're really pushing them to get out of this victim mentality and manifest what they want and do this healing and come forward They're um, because it's kind of just a lesson about like letting pride go and and taking accountability and, you know, fixing this. It's like, do they... Do they take accountability or do they play the victim, you know? And it's it's not even about, like, your, the relationship necessarily either. It's, it's more, it's just the, like, the lesson here, too. It's like they can, you know, you guys can both, like, take that accountability. Like, they can come forward and take responsibility for their role in things and try to let their pride go and be more patient and understanding. Like, they can learn that, that lesson of, of patience of, you know, compassion of seeing other perspectives. Even if you guys decide you want to go separate ways, even if it's just getting closure, they can still come forward and apologize and say, hey, like, I know where you were coming from now. I know, you know, it takes two to tango. I know that it, it wasn't just your fault. It was my fault as well. I, I see my role in things. But yeah, I think it's best we go our separate ways. Like you're, you're still taking that responsibility. You know what I mean? But, but yeah, I do feel like they do want to build with you, but it, I mean, it's kind of up to you. Um, again, they feel kind of lost at the moment. It's, it's, it's really up in the air, whether they come forward just because they don't, it's like, they're waiting for a sign from you. Like they don't know what to do. They don't know how you feel. They're afraid of being rejected. They're afraid of just repeating that cycle and getting into the same old arguments again. They feel like there might be things that need to be addressed that they're kind of running from that they don't want to address and they don't want to, maybe it's like um, personality differences or something that you guys were fighting about in the past and they feel like if they come back now, you guys are just going to, it's going to pick right back up where, where you left off and you're just going to keep fighting about that same old issue. Um Any more word on what they're going to... Yeah, it's really up in the air, unfortunately. I wish I could get, like, a, a, a more straight answer. Because, um, like I said, they're just so lost and so confused right now. So it kind of depends on how the energy shifts on whether they decide they want to take responsibility or whether they want to keep being in that Three of Swords, Eight of Swords energy, kind of oop, victim mentality, King of Swords... They might be pouting and jealous over something, too. Page of Wands. King of Cups. Knight of Cups. I feel like they do want to make this, these promises to you. Like, they do want to come forward. They do want to show you a softer side. They're just so guarded and so hesitant right now that they... They, it's kind of like they want to test the waters first and make sure that, you know, you guys are on the same page and that you guys can actually, like, you're you both wanting to work through this and that it's actually worth it to work through this, basically. So they're, they're looking for answers right now. That's kind of just where they're at. I hope this helped you guys. Um, again, please comment if it resonates. Please just leave a heart comment, even that gets me back in the YouTube algorithm. And um, feel free to message me, email me at dragonenchantress at AOL.com if you'd like a private reading. Thank you.